The occurrence of unexplained syncope in patients who have a high risk of sudden cardiac death, meaning who have a disease that can lead to sudden cardiac death like Bogada syndrome, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, or decrease of the left ventricular ejection fraction, is always something stressful for a physician because we know that the occurrence of this kind of syncope in this situation can lead to sudden cardiac death in the patients. So we want in these guidelines to uh, highlight some important facts uh, that have to take in account when you have to manage this kind of patient. First, mostly the occurrence of a syncope in patients with this kind of diseases increase the risk of sudden cardiac death by two to four, depending on the disease. So, when this kind of syncope occurs, you have to be uh, very attentive to the patient to make sure that the reason of the syncope is not a high-risk syncope. Second, in case of a patient with a decrease of the left ventricular ejection fraction and uh, who have uh, ejection fraction higher than 35%, meaning that usually they are not uh, eligible for ICD implantation, if you have a syncope, unexplained syncope in this situation, you have to think about ICD implantation because we know that this kind of patient will have higher risk of sudden cardiac deaths. For the other situation, when you don't know exactly the reason of the syncope, when you uh, cannot be sure about the uh, etiology of the syncope, you can manage the patient using ICD if you think that there is a high risk of sudden cardiac death, or you can manage the patient with internal loop recorder just to make sure that the syncope is not in relation to arrhythmia and then leading to high risk of sudden cardiac death. For the other situation, like Brugada syndrome, high RVC, or um, long QT syndrome, the first step will be to make sure that the treatment of the patient is at the best. And after that, you have to evaluate deeply the reason of the syncope. And if you are sure that the patient is properly treated, if you have managed the patient and you cannot be sure that the syncope is, not, is for another reason that arrhythmia, then you can consider the possibility to implant an ICD in this kind of patient. That's the main information that you have in this uh, last guidelines, and uh, you will be able to find it in detail in the uh, publication in the Urban Heart Journal. Thank you.